COVID-19 pandemic has boosted food delivery business, but if you have tried to cook for a huge number of people, you would agree it's not an easy task. It's been four years since Ama Domire Tamaklo started providing meals for hundreds of people, and now her food uh, startup, uh, Food 101, is looking to break new grounds. A story is on today's episode of the Joy Business Band. many orders have come in so far? Okay, so uh, let's see. Because mm -hmm. uh, most of them get their food. This has become the life of Ama Domiri Tamaklu since she decided four years ago to quit working in a corporate institution as a marketer to following her passion for food. I love food through and through. The eating, the cooking, presentation, everything about food. Yes. I love food. It sounded as though she was kidding when she announced to her friends she was quitting to sell food. But her decision to do this was not just because of her passion for food. My plan was to serve healthy food, not just food, because I'm very health conscious about keeping the body healthy. That's the only one we have. So I'm very mindful about what we consume. So I thought if I have, I give people that healthy option, um, they would respond positively and they have. She had found a solution to a problem, the essence of entrepreneurship. But while she had found a solution to a problem, it looked so basic. Plus, Amma would add to the countless number of people who are in this business. So the very first day, I remember it like yesterday, even though it's been like four years. The very first day, I people didn't believe that I was quitting what I was doing to go and start food business. So I selected a couple of friends and I cooked for free. I did it for a week. So I just served them lunch. I told them we are having it for free. And we, well, not the same people. We sampled it across. Uh, various officers, various people. So after a week, we told them that, well, if you like the food, now you can order from us. With a staff of two, plus a push on social media, soon Ama would get overwhelmed by the number of orders and hire more people. I think right from the onset, our strategy caught on quite early, um, serving affordable food. So you could get an average worker in an office buying from us on a daily basis. We do free delivery, so we don't have to pay for delivery. We realize on the market that um, the, some of uh, people find it difficult eating from one restaurant or a catering business for the whole week because it's expensive. So they either buy Mondays and only on Thursdays. So we, our strategy was to make it very affordable, healthy, affordable, free delivery. So we, that's what we started with. Yes, and then it caught on because we were comfortable with it well, for that on a daily basis. Food 101 offers a variety of meals and the emphasis is on healthy eating. In an industry where there is so much competition, Ama knows consistency and quality are very important. Food sells, yes, but it's not, you can decide that I'm cooking today, people will patronize it, but how about if it's not good? How about if it's not healthy? You won't sell the next day, you won't sell after a week, and you'll be out of business. So good food sells, because people eat on a daily basis, but what are you feeding them? But like any other thing, if you have to do it well to be able to attract that profit. If you don't, it will not come. Selling food is not just about cooking, it's also about managing the business, making strategic decisions to stay in business and be profitable. How do you deal with unstable prices of food staff? How do you innovate to stay ahead of the market? What do you do when clients delay payments? Those are just a few of the issues Ama has to deal with on a daily basis. You have all these ideas but you need money to implement them and um, that has been one challenge and then engaging people, getting the right people. Sometimes from my experience as an entrepreneur I realize that people are not really passionate about, some people are not passionate about what they they are doing or what they want to do. They're interested in just maybe getting paid at the end of the month. So I've had my fair share of it. People come in and they don't deliver. So you have to keep changing. And then, so another challenge was with uh, finding the right staff, the right people, the right attitude. And then 
you need to depend on people to deliver motorbikes. They either disappoint or they don't go as expected, and we've had our fair share of that too. Uh, we hope it gets better. But it's been a good four years so far, and now Food 101 has overcome the fifth year hurdle where they evolved from being a startup. So in our fifth year, we, we are looking at expanding. We In the past, we tried to um, branch into other areas like strictly doing pastries, strictly doing like shit or and other things, moving a bit away from the regular serving of food. And I think we hadn't planned well, so we are using this whole year to plan properly and then launch the different aspects of Food 101, where you don't just have to call us and get food in the office. You can walk into a shop and pick your shit or pick your spring roll, samosa, pick other things from the shop that you can go and prepare at home yourself. Yes. And oh, I should mention that Amma hosts workout sessions for corporate institutions she caters for. And just in case you're wondering why the name Food 101, well, Amma tells me she settled on that because food is a basic necessity of life. And that we know for a fact.